you said, I put the key in, and I hear moving around. As the door began to open, I wanted to find the threat. As the door was open fully, that's when you saw the silhouette. Yes, sir. So you knew from outside that door, with the protection of that door between you, that there was a, something inside that was making noise. Yes, sir. Okay. So here were your options then. Your options were, at this point, to go in and find the threat, or your option would have been, I'm going to back off, I'm going to take a position of cover and concealment, and I'm going to get some help out here. Those are options, right? And they are. Okay. But you chose option A, which was, I'm going in to find the threat. That True? was that was the only option that went through my head. I was at home, and I... Ma'am, will you answer my questions? Yes, sir. You chose to go in and find the threat, even though you were in a position to have taken cover and concealment, right? No, sir. Your training, which you've told this jury several times now, that you revert to, you've told them that, right? Yes, I have. You rely on that training is what you've said. Yes, I do. That's why you pulled the gun when you pulled the gun, right? Yes, sir. That's why you keep your right hand empty. Yes, sir. That's why you backed your truck in, correct? Yes, sir. Because that's what police do, right? Yes, sir. But you're telling me at the most critical moment of the entire thing, your training just abandoned you? No, sir. No, because your training says that when you're at this point here, for officer safety, to maximize your safety, do not go inside that apartment. On a call. Ma'am, your general orders indicate that you are on duty 24-7. They do. And you know that that training is designed for your safety, first and foremost. Yes, sir. And that's not only what your orders are, that's how you guys are trained. Yes, sir. So for your safety, you should have taken a position of cover and concealment and got help. And instead you decided to go in. Yes, I did go in. You had a police radio on you, didn't you? I did. Did it work? It did. You live two blocks away from police headquarters? Yes, sir. You know that when you call out as a, as a police officer, the number one thing for every other police officer is to come and help you if you say that you need help. Yes, sir. You know that the response time on this call was about two minutes and bodies were at the apartment. Yes, sir. So you could have taken a position of cover and concealment. You could have called for help on your radio you could have had the cavalry there in two minutes. I could have. You could have had SWAT mobilized. It, they could have. You could have had K-9 mobilized. They could have also. Right. And had you done any one of those things, Mr. Jean would probably be alive today. Right? Yes, sir. 